So I just saw Zack Snyder's Justice League and it wasn't good. Do I like it more than the Joss Whedon version of Justice League? I don't know, I never saw it. I am one of few people on this planet that actually watched Zack Snyder's Justice League and not Zack Snyder's Justice League in comparison to the other one. If you saw the original Justice League before watching Zack Snyder's version, then we did not see the same movie. Because that seems to be what's really dominating the conversation here. Like this is a good movie because it's such an improvement on something that is bad. Call me crazy, but I don't think that this movie would be as highly praised if the original didn't exist. This whole thing just seems like one big misleading scam. First of all, the original movie is not the Joss Whedon cut, it is the Warner Brothers cut. Joss Whedon's version was supposed to be over two and a half hours long, and Warner Brothers made him cut it down to two hours. If Joss Whedon was in full control of the film, then it would have turned out very differently than the version that was released. Second, this Zack Snyder's Justice League version isn't even even Zack Snyder's final cut. He wanted to include Green Lantern at the end and Warner Brothers made him reshoot it and put in a different superhero instead. He almost quit the film over this. And despite Warner Brothers marketing this as some untouched vision from Zack Snyder, they couldn't fucking help themselves but to alter it. I don't even care how insignificant the change Warner Brothers made to the film is. If you're advertising it that way, you shouldn't do it. It's like that crazy Samurai Musashi movie that advertised itself as having a single take with no cuts and then they just put a cut in the middle of it because fuck you. At least the movie's in 4x3, right? That sure adds to the film. It's not like a superhero movie or anything where I kind of want to see the action taking place on the screen and maybe see a, a bit more past the fucking black bars. I don't know. Uh, I guess I'm going into spoilers, so skip the whole fucking video if you don't want to hear spoilers. You've all seen it. Why would you hear me talk about this movie if you haven't seen it? The jokester said that we live in a society in the trailer and that wasn't in the movie, so Sorry. He just showed up for a dream sequence that didn't even matter. The characters in this film are incredibly annoying, especially Flash. They tried so fucking hard to make him funny and they failed miserably on each and every single attempt. I was legitimately considering turning off the movie because of Flash and then my roommate told me to imagine him as Nathan Fielder instead and I did and then it made it funny and I was okay with it. If you're having trouble with the cringe that is Flash, just imagine Nathan Fielder instead of Ezra Miller, you'll be fine. And since I have have this platform, I might as well make a formal request that one of you does a deep fake on the Flash scenes in the film and just replace uh, his face with Nathan Fielder. I think it would actually be a better movie. Get on it. Thank you. Even if his character wasn't the most annoying thing of all time, which he is, the inclusion of his character in this film completely destroys any chance for logical consistency or immersion into the universe. And the script knows that he's way too overpowered as a character, so they just nerf him at convenient moments whenever they want. Sometimes he'll fall for no reason. There was a point where he saved someone from falling rubble because he's super fast and then one more piece of rubble falls and he says no and then Cyborg saves the guy. What was so different about that last falling piece of rubble? In the time you said the word no, you could have dealt with it and had enough time left over to solve world hunger. There's a part where Wonder Woman's trying to grab her sword and she's in slow motion and uh, the flash zooms in because he's super fast and he pokes it back to her with his finger on the sharp end, uh, just his bare finger, he's not cut. Apparently this has to do with the electricity or something, but for some reason he can't do the same thing to whatever projectile hits him in this scene. Why didn't the ammunition just bounce off of him like the sword did? I'm sorry, but if he's approaching the speed of light in order to turn back time, the fact that he got shot in the first place is fucking stupid. Whatever they're shooting him with, it's going very slowly. You can see them moving slow as you see the bug people flying. But nope, this is the one shot we're gonna show of Flash running that isn't in slow-mo, because if it was, you'd see how fucking stupid it is. The second most annoying character in this movie was Wonder Woman, although this is still miles away from the Flash. And this is mostly due to how the soundtrack was incorporated into the film. Every time she shows up on screen, the music abruptly changes to <laughs> It 
It was basically like a comical punchline that kept getting more and more frequent as the film went on. The third most annoying character in this movie is the script. Throughout the film, we are subjected to impressively terrible dialogue. If you can't bring down the charging bull, then don't wave the red cape at it. You do when it's this red cape. This red cape charges back. Ugh. This is the good version made with the benefit of hindsight, and lines like this are still in the film. Ben Affleck does not work well as Batman, in my opinion. He is like a pudgy dad. Cyborg was kind of stupid. He could control the entire global financial system as well as every nuke on the planet, but he couldn't control his own fucking arm. It's my auto defense system. It senses danger, he explained for the audience. Either your auto defense system is not very good at sensing danger, or Superman's default setting is evil. I don't know what's going on or who I am. Better kill some people. Either that or the missile defense system is bullshit and it was just like, oh, there's a strong boy and he's looking angry. He certainly has weapons of mass destruction. We'd better invade. Now you gotta replace your arm missile and those are pretty hard to come by. Superman was stupid. I don't like him. Aquaman was Aquaman. Pointy Thanos, I mean Steppenwolf, is stupid. He can just warp around the planet to the locations of the three mother boxes as long as they know where they are and you don't want them to get all three because the bad guys will use them to synchronize and they turn the planet into fire. Over halfway into this four hour movie both Steppenwolf and Darkseid realize that Earth is the planet where they lost the battle in the flashback and it's treated like this big reveal like oh my goodness he didn't know this before and now it makes things more personal this is the planet he wanted to get revenge on for so long but like weren't you already looking for the mother boxes here? Do you often just leave mother boxes hanging out on different planets so much that this isn't some sort of anomaly? Apparently Earth is so super special that it has the anti-life equation. Yo, dude, this is like anti-life. It's like, it's like the, it's like not life. It's like the against life. It's like the opposite. It's some bullshit that's tattooed into the Earth and they can use it for doing bad things. So Darkseid wants the mother boxes to do the thing on planet Earth and it's very important now even though he completely forgot about all of this since the last time he was here. According to Zack Snyder, Darkseid almost died when he returned to Apocalypse. He was in a fight for power and much time had passed before he was in a position of power again and by, and by then all who had been with him had been slayed. So he forgot but you took more words to say it. All right, Zack. Jesse Eisenberg and Jared Leto were both extreme cringe. They were both terrible. It was kind of funny. This show is what the kids would call giga cringe. There's lots of slow motion in this movie and there's lots of montages with previously existing licensed music songs with lyrics. It's a Zack Snyder film. The things that happen in the movie are stupid and they don't make sense and I don't like it. But this is his real vision so yay. If only he'd had full control over Man of Steel and Batman v Superman then those films would also be in 4x3 aspect ratio and and over four hours long. Unless that wasn't the plan and he just decided to make three films that are incredibly inconsistent with themselves despite being in the same universe and him directing all three of them. This movie actually made me interested in checking out the original Justice League. It seems like it might be funnier in an unintentional sort of way. It's also much shorter and that sounds great. But since I haven't seen that yet, I can't really say whether or not this film is an improvement. Perhaps if I did, then maybe this film would have been more refreshing. Whoa, congratulations, Zach. You gave me cancer instead of AIDS. Anyway, it was not good. I did not like it. Sorry. And I'm giving this one a 3 out of 10. Let me None tell of you. this should be possible. Stat. Dead. Reason. Stat. Er, er Dead. up her mistakes. Er, I will er up her mistakes. Oh, stop it. Stop it, Donut. Oh, I can only is... laugh at you so much. 